Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light, and today I'm going to do a June reading. And this reading is intended for Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. So if you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. I will also leave a link up here and in the description box below if you would like a private reading from me. You can just go ahead and book your reading from there. And I also want to thank every single one of you for it being an amazing support to the channel. And if you haven't already, don't forget to head subscribe and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. All right, guys, let's jump into your reading. and Let's see what is coming your way. I see two different tiers of joy. Good news coming forth here. It is a very clean cup, which is a very good sign. This symbolizes actually like um, initially in the beginning of the month, probably you're going to have some sort of like conversations, but they're not um, massive challenges. Okay. Towards the end, I see there's a light because of the probably uh, the summer that you're entering into the summer, but in your, if you're in, in the Southern hemisphere, probably the beginning of um, spring. So the lighter energies are gonna come forth, okay? I see here there is an octopus. Octopus can be symbolizing you actually maybe starting to do more than one thing at a time, or maybe multifunctioning, maybe taking on a challenge that you have to actually um, do multiple things at the same time. You are actually standing in on the beginning of a pathway here. Um, that challenge you're taking on can be opening up new pathways for you, okay? And um, yeah, I see here there's a hyena I saw and there's a women I see here and also one more animal I see. This is kind of like a fish to me or... Hmm something with a beak right there so the women let me get closer looks like someone who has like a lighter complexion but with a darker hair color hyena is like the eyes and the ears here they are actually predators okay they're not the smartest i was actually watching this duck um mummy duck actually like um tricking the hyena so they're not the smartest, but they tend to, um, they are predators, okay? They, they, it's in, in their nature. This can be someone that you're dealing with, a woman, maybe a feminine character that you're dealing with. This kind of starts to look to me as a um, parrot now, using maybe the power of words. And uh, hyena can be symbolizing that the negative intentions that she has. But the thing is, because they are on the bottom of everything here, they're not like rising to the top. And there is a beautiful cup coming forth. Be cup can be symbolizing an emotionally fulfilling offer coming forth and um, to you. And this person can be trying to block it, maybe putting some negative intention to it. And you're trying to, as even though... Um, like you're expecting this, this is your birthright, you're receiving it, maybe you applied for it. And uh, what happens is they are trying to prevent, I don't think they're, I, I, I'm not saying they're going to be successful, but they're going to try to prevent this thing to reach to you. But I don't think they're going to be very effective, okay? Um, like the hyena not being super smart, this person's attitude, it is going to show. It is going to reveal, okay? Maybe even when it's revealed, it's not even going to work for them. It is going to be like a bad act for them. I see there's a male figure here. Kind of looks like he has a duck mouth and duck beak. And he is wearing this like a wool, like a, I want to say wool, but maybe fur clothing covered all up. This can be a person who is actually the ducks um, symbolize protectiveness because they are truly protective towards their young. Uh, this person can be someone absolutely protective towards you, but um, maybe they are protecting, covering your back. You're not even aware of them because they are wearing too much of a shield, a 
okay they're wearing too much of like a defensive being defensive in whatever that they're doing however also like i see a bag that they're carrying this person probably has massive wealth a connection to massive wealth um they're probably like um trying to make you a part of this thing okay um, this I feel like maybe like in a work environment working setup you might have like a superior that you're working with someone uh, who's in a higher position than you are and you might have like a lower someone in a lower position maybe someone that you're going to be leaving in a lower position maybe you're getting an upgrade you're getting an offer to maybe a promotion so if there's like a mentor or somebody wants to mentor you do not take it the wrong way okay so because this person might know the little tricks tips whatever it is that is necessary in order to climb the ladder and if they're giving you an advice they might be even like um you know uh teaching you showing you the things that will put you in a higher space with the june time okay the time can be also like receiving divine help for you like coming to you and you're receiving it you're getting the message here and that is leading you to this lighter energy field okay the lighter um, things maybe the positive experiences that are also going to be like coming into your life okay i see there's a crown here definitely an upgrade coming forward but i see right next to the crown there's a question mark okay you're wearing the crown but there's a question mark this can be some unexpected blessings and, or maybe an upgrade coming forward. However, the question mark can be you may be feeling like not worthy enough. Okay, feeling like, okay, I received this, but what am I going to give? So this can be something that you're receiving just because being who you are or um, maybe your skill set actually you deserve this, but you might have that little doubt within you the question mark doesn't even have like a proper dot okay so this is not something well formed but this is something a thought that you have it's not 100 percent uh but it might be like to like 40 35 percent of self-doubt here okay if you're feeling that it is going to be like it's not going to be preventing you to receive that because you have a protection bubble this can be the prayers of a higher person a person in like a family member or maybe I see a keyhole here, maybe the upgrade about work that you're getting, maybe an office that you're receiving, maybe you're feeling like, oh, that person was actually doing better stuff than I do, whatever it is. That's not the case. You're getting probably what you do is much better than the other people's. That's why you're getting this upgrade. I'm interpreting this all about like work. That's like what's coming into me, my mind. But if you're not working right now, this can even be like a help that you're receiving. Okay, if you're going to try to go to school and you apply for a scholarship and you received it, don't doubt it. You might have like some sort of a doubt. You might be thinking, oh, my grades weren't that perfect. Why did I get it? Don't think it that way because whatever is meant for you simply will find you. This can be a school acceptance to a school. Even maybe like finding a very good friends, a good environment, a good house. Okay. Do not have the doubt. Do not doubt your ability to manifest and create your life. I see here, this kind of looks like a building to me. Maybe you are actually changing your location, maybe moving into a building with, uh, like, I see a dog's face here. I don't know if you can see the dog right there, the eyes and smiling dog. Um, the environment is going to be a place that you're going to feel the loyalty of the people surrounding you. And this can be also like... um compatible energy field that you're going to be finding the perfect friendships the people that makes you feel like you belong um can like that's why i said like maybe acceptance to school which is very compatible with your energy can be a new job i also see here another octopus another octopus right there we have another one right there you see the eye and the legs of the octopus so this is a place that you're going to be actually again uh showing most of your skill set probably and uh, there's a legal paper also this can be even like a, sh a short-term contract that you're taking bringing a long-term contract into your life okay a long-term stability i even see like forum lines like the connections maybe long-term friendships are going to be forming when you start uh, this environment I kind of see here this um, 
what is that animal that goes into the fields and eats all the like there's animal hedgehog i think it's hedgehog i'm not 100 percent sure but uh, there's this farmer recording it's a viral thing now i saw it like a million times in the online this uh, hedgehog i think goes in front of the camera i think he's staring at himself i don't think he knows that's a camera but he or she uh grabs the fruits and like tomatoes and like carrots and stuff and just eats them in front of like the camera in such cute way so i see such thing here eating something feeding itself uh what it does is um it's not a massive thing when they eat like the little bit a little part of the things if they are actually doing good to the field if they are uh, like protecting the field from like the bugs and stuff uh, which can be i don't really know the nature of these animals i don't know how they operate so in your heart maybe there is something that little guilty pleasure that you have that you're doing wanting desiring maybe you're already having and uh, you're wondering if it's actually like something bad um this seems like here because it has a lighter energy surrounding it i feel like it is not a negative thing, okay? It doesn't have a massive effect in your life. It is not in the sense of negative massive effect. That little bit of thing can also become like massive because I told you that video has been watched like a million times. Maybe that farmer is like super famous right now. If he has a produce, he's selling 100%. You know, maybe before that he didn't have a chance. This is just an assumption. I'm making it up. So I don't know about anything, the details of that, but... Yeah, so whatever it is, maybe you're thinking it is a negative thing, but it might turn out to be a positive and super extremely fun thing, okay? Don't feel that like guilt towards it. I see two people hugging here. There's a horse rider in, right under it. Horses can indicate uh, actually like wish fulfillment and two people hugging. This is separate from this thing. By the way, this is a different thing here. Towards the end of the month, you might be coming together with someone who you feel um the like extreme um fondness maybe you like this person very much and you coming together maybe you really want to see this person come together with this person and what happens is towards the end of the month you're coming together and then there's a very light time you're probably going to be enjoying your time together with this person you're going to be having some sort of like um you know coming together there's a, even like a little path maybe you're gonna have a short trip with them okay let's get into your plate now if you have a question a desire an intention hold it in your mind let's see what the answer is going to be i see again two people hugging there's a heart shape here your heart's desire basically um doesn't have to be like a romantic thing your desire coming really fast by the way it is a very light thing it is going to be happening really lightly I see number five here can be symbolizing playfulness, exploration, and change. So this person coming forth that you're hugging with can be someone that you can be playful with, okay? Like I said, it doesn't have to be something romantic. It can be like um, childish too. There's another tears of joy I actually fell on my finger here. This can be some good news that is coming your way. Also, like your desire coming very lightly, very lightly. I see two people holding hands here. This can be like coming to an agreement with someone or uh, again, can be some a new relationship forming here. But you are actually writing a big fish. This can be a business offer as well. Maybe you're taking on or maybe it's being offered, but I feel like fish is your thing. So this can be something that you have, maybe an opportunity that you have that you're offering it to someone okay and they're shaking hands there's a cross behind this person's mind cross can be the things maybe disturbing thoughts crossing through their their mind also can mean like maybe this person there's a spiritual thing here spiritual exchange happening here okay the decision that you're making maybe they're you're shaking their hand you're coming to an agreement with this person because you are actually like uh like making a spiritual deal with this person okay let's see shuffle your cards again these are you can see in the description box uh the types of the cards i have the turkish ones also or the english ones you can find them all there if you want to. okay 
death card here. The, this is actually letting go. Okay, number 13. Some things are coming to an end and there's a transformation happening and the freedom also coming forth. Along the way, you might be feeling a little defensive with the ace. Um, no, I'm sorry, it's not ace. This is the nine of wands. Protection being ready and maybe resisting to change. However, you like it or not, there is a massive change coming forward. And this is something death of establishment. Maybe um, the establishment that you're in is not really healthy for you anymore. And we have the phoenix. There is going to be a different rebirth um the changes are going to be even though you think it seems like negative initially for the massive positivity we have the justice card here justice and the law and karma so justice will be served whatever is meant for you will come to you you might have some def like a defensive maybe attitude towards it maybe you are used to your comfort zone you don't want to change it but when you get out of that comfort zone, it is going to be something that is actually much better, much healthier. Also, just, you know, it's going to be something that you really uh, be thankful for at the end, grateful for. The thing is, uh, like I said, the endings usually really hard for us. And if we are living in even a toxic environment, but something that we're used to, it becomes really hard for us to separate ourselves from that. Uh, but here... If that's the case, um, it's coming to an end, you like it or not. And But at the end, you're going to be very successful. This can even be like a long-lasting, maybe a death of a stem, long-lasting case, a legal case coming to an end, and you are actually becoming victorious at the end of it, okay? The second thing we have is the four of wands, definitely celebration coming afterwards, maybe even a wedding. And again, the victory. Victory is the victory. This is a coming back from the war, victorious. We, the four of wands can be abundance and, and celebration coming forward after your victory. Six of wands actually indicates success, recognition, and self-respect. Okay, Not only like a legal victory, but also victory over all the things that you're doing. But also, it seems like you're too much of celebration, too much of like... um this kind of energy that you are actually going to be creating like having in your life too much of like success might tire you out this is on the bottom of the deck that's why i pulled it's a good card uh it's good to have a balance and prioritize which way you're going to be actually like what are you going to be celebrating and the victory after the victory what you're going to do with that victory how you're going to process it it's very important and adding some playfulness into the mix is going to be with the, like while you're celebrating is actually going to maybe lighten the load on your back. Even though you have a victory, maybe uh, it is going to require to follow up with the paperwork or do other things on the side. So while you are actually celebrating, so it's not going to be ending there. So if you actually have that kind of stuff going on, Approaching it in a light way, lighter way and a balanced way and prioritizing things are very important. I have here the Ace of Cups. So this indicates uh, emotions, relationships and intuition. This can be like a new beginning, new emotional fulfilling, emotionally fulfilling beginning coming forward in your life as well. Okay. And after you go through all that stuff, you're balancing your energy and maybe even like attracting something massive, like a beautiful new uh, new relationship, okay? I have here Six of Swords. This indicates actually from choppy waters to the calmer shores. You're going through things, yes, and you're going to be ending up with... Uh, in a place that is going to be we have two sixes by the way six of swords six of pentacles uh, which indicates unconditional love and protectiveness so because you might be feeling like oh this is ending coming to an end but it is actually bringing to like carrying it towards a better future a better enlightened future six of pentacles can indicate karma also giving and receiving and like uh, receiving what's meant for you. And that's also going to be whatever the energy that you're putting out there, you're coming back, it's coming back to you. Can be also philanthropy, maybe all this new victory that you're gonna actually get the money, maybe if that's, if that's the money or that's like a, 
uh, that a skill, whatever it is that you're going to be actually winning, you're going to be able to share that with others as well. I have a tower moment happening in between. Tower doesn't have to be something like uh, extreme, but usually we have six of cups. Okay, you have three six, sixes here. We have 16 here. Six is unconditional love. So no matter what comes through, see through the eyes of love because love is very important here. And uh, try to understand why is this coming your way? Why do you need to walk away from something that doesn't serve you anymore? Why do you need to give? And why do you need to receive? Receival is very important as well. Maybe you are only a giver and you don't know how to receive good fortune, good luck, or maybe help. So maybe you need to learn that as well. The tower moment may be showing up to, um, you know, end that kind of cycle that you're not receiving, is only giving. So it is here to display that, like, end this one, start new. Six of cups usually symbolize children, childhood, nostalgia, something from the past coming forth. And this actually indicates pleasure here. This can be like a pleasurable moment or someone that you had a good relationship with in the past showing up. We have followed the leader. We have a spark here. This is beautiful. And bone collector. Bone collector is actually the number one thing here showing up. The number one card. Follow the leader indicates that every life is a teaching tool for others. Your authenticity and honesty are an example to those around you. So leader, your inner leader, basically, like your intuition, if it's guiding you somewhere, it is an experience for you and that experience will affect others as well. And we have a tree of life here, the wisdom that you're gaining from the experiences, which is going to be very useful for you along the way, okay? Spark indicates that you are a clear channel for divine creativity there's a spark of creativity in you and you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope so um it is suggested that optimism and hope and being in a positive is going to be very useful for you at this time maybe throughout the month and the bone collector states that you are whole and you have everything you need within you. So if you're looking for outside, outside influences, outside people to help you out with the things that you're trying to accomplish, this is very clear. It's telling you that like you have everything you need in order to create the life you want. You don't have to go out there. You don't have to just knock on other people's doors. You have what you need. We have cat as your spirit animal showing up here. Have strength, faith, and conviction in your voice. It has never been more needed. So if you're speaking, you need to speak your mind clearly and uh, trusting that whatever that you're saying is actually need to be heard by others. We have golden unicorn here, ascension, awakening to your soul's potential. This can also be like finding your soul purpose. This is soul's purpose is not only one thing. It actually is something that you, like the spark, a tiny little spark that you find and follow that as you follow that it's like a little rope that you keep pulling and keeps like growing and getting bigger and then the more that you discover the more that you walk through life the more you pull the more you actually discover your purpose and become something bigger so this is actually telling you that your soul has an unlimited potential to create beautiful uh, greatness in this planet on this planet and uh, the more you actually speak your truth the more you actually express your creativity and um, maybe even if you're like in a legal business or maybe just you know helping people to get justice for themselves the more you're going to be like expanding into this unlimited human being that you are okay unlimited creator that you are right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.